I'm gonna cut this one right here. Alright, let's go do something. Oh, nice. This one is probably right there. Go this way. Make sure I actually have it. Kono kimono mino. Alright, so you guys are just right over there. Be there in a little bit. I just realized there's like paintings of like kimono on the top of these rocks. Really cool. Oh shit. I'm stuck in some trees. What the hell? Just in case. Holy shit. We, uh... Took this thing out. God damn. I sure changed my 
south again. No, I just said that. There we go. That was pretty quick. So best advice for staff I have. Yeah, let's hear it. Is don't use the giant blade on the ground. Uh, do the flying shovel. Really? Every time, because I, I end up doing that accidentally a lot. Is that actually a pretty good uh, hit? Is it only a, uh, it's only a level one hit, right? Because I accidentally do that sometimes when I get a little, a little extra excited in a fight. I guess that would be good if uh, we're not going to, uh, if we're about to lose our, our gauge. They changed it? It's a level 2 hit now. Oh, wow. Okay. Because I was pretty sure it was level 1, so that's that's a new thing. That's kind of nice. 2 to 3k hits per slice. Wow. Okay. Full gauge gives you two swings. Nice. Uh, that's, that's pretty good information then. Yeah, I haven't, like whenever there's like any updates or anything, I, I don't really pay a ton of attention. <clears throat> Mission now. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, I thought I guess it it unchecked when we started doing that uh that hunt. Alright. Sorry, eight. Should be good. And it's over here. Ooh, it's a volatile grit dog. Oh, nice. Monsters there eat them. Oh, okay, so oh really? That was weird. I guess it lost. Uh, I, I probably got out of range. Not 
guys, uh, and some others that we've been partying with, you guys kind of have like the, uh, the shield orb that, uh, uh, our little mechanical basketball friend has. Uh, is that something, uh, you have to unlock, I'm guessing, or is that like a specific skill? Oh, that's gonna hurt. No? It looked like I was trying to. We're good. What the fuck? It's Sonic! Thank you. Fuck, I, ju I just lost my, my gauge right after that. Alright, so I messed that up. I meant to do the dash. It's funny. Now that I know about that, I'm gonna actually try and execute the Colossal Sword um, in a dash, but I just gotta see. I gotta. Now I actually have to practice it, because. Every time I do it, it's actually an accident, and I'm like, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Well, I guess I could just do this. There it is. Alright, where'd it go? Oh, it's only not here. Oh, so I actually overshot it. That was almost death. Oh shit. Yeah, I feel like I was actually trying to uh, execute that dash. Um, but I, I kept 
yeah, I kept either missing or my character would be on the ground, so I'll have to practice it. If that's what all the kids are doing now. Yeah. It'll just take some time. Elemental talisman. Neat. Shit. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, it looks like OBS is back to normal. Maybe. There we go. Um, let me just check. So I can make the gloves. So what's the difference? So less desperation. Critical draw. We don't really get a ton of use out of. Follow through. Oh. That's kind of cool. Ooh. These are actually kind of beefy. So it looks like um, we'd be a little bit weaker against fire, but we'd be better off against water. Oh, and it doesn't have a kimono path. Okay, so that's why it's higher right now. Okay, I'll wait to upgrade everything. Or make everything. Uh, you guys are over there. Damn. Uh, here. That's gonna send me that way. I don't think that's where I can go. Oh, shit. Fucking Assassin's Creed. Jumping over shit. So you're all over there. That's fine. I can't remember the last time I've actually been this tired on stream. Which uh, has been rough. Oh, 
Oh, that looks bad. See, I did. I, just, I fucked it up again. All right, I'll have to uh, see what I have to do. I did not think that was gonna come back close. Shit, I did the wrong thing. Over here? What the hell? Oh, over here. I'll be over there someday. I'll have to play around with that. Can you get the, um, you can get the dash off the anchor, right? It's not exclusive to the slide, or the spring. Maybe I'm just not doing it soon enough. Anchor is the best way to go. Okay, I must not be doing it soon enough because I think it's just like when I do this, I do this. I kind of wait a little bit. Um, well, no, it's not working. Go like that. Sometimes I wait, depending on where I land.
When you get an inch before the tail, uh, start your swing. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I feel like I whiff a lot, and then when I don't actually want it to go off, it does. Don't forget the material. Uh, oh, did I miss something? Oh, right here. Thanks, guys. Nice. So let's see what we're looking at now. Ooh. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I cannot stop yawning. Let's go. All right, so I can do both, uh, but I actually can't do both. Yeah. So it looks like Hawkeye and Sprint Master. Destruction art 20% and destruction art 20%. That's a, that's a lot of part breaker. All right, uh, I don't really care which one. Um, which one has a, oh yeah, I won't be able to do that. Oh yeah, I might be able to. Here, let's, let's just start making it now. Let's do this one first because uh, there's no path we don't have to do. Certain pieces of armor can be dyed from the equipment. Okay, cool. I want to look as ugly as possible, actually. So we're losing 7% desperation. I'm okay with that. I'm running 100% part breaker. The reason for that uh, build is to make deeply volatile easy. Stagger is the best thing. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. Part breaker. Part breaker will pee. Um, all right, so... Yeah, I'm okay with switching it out. Let's, uh, let's equip it. And then, so we don't have enough to make this now, which is fine. We're, we need three more fur. And then eventually, we go for the chest piece. Um, on the kimono path, it doesn't need any additional fur, which is good. So yeah, that's not bad. I am going to be a little upset about losing my RuPaul drag show gear, but I'm okay with it. So you're, you were saying that um, I have zero desperation. I bet you b -Web has zero desperation as well. Yeah, desperation. Uh, it's been nice, but I kind of want to live. You know? One strike crit uh, on human and 100% destruction. That sounds, that sounds amazing. I like Desperation. Uh, it hasn't been like a, like the craziest thing, but um, I think uh, it's been like a nice little added DPS uh, that doesn't discriminate. Well, it does. It does discriminate against your own armor. Um, but yeah. Alright, cool. A hundred on both. I'm the talisman god. <laughs> yeah, I actually... Uh, I should probably pay attention more to talismans. It's just... For the longest time, like, I haven't really been getting anything noteworthy, so, let's see. One stroke critical. 11%. More destruction art. That's cool. More destruction art. Okay. So you were saying... that um there was so for the boots there's another armor set what um what are those what set is that so 30 on weapon 40 on armor for destruction um get 30 destruction art talismans you're good or three destruction i gotcha 
Interesting. Huh. Alright, so we already know we're gonna eventually move over to here. We can't do anything about fog fall. Destruction art. It was one of these that had it. I'm just curious. What the fuck is destruction art? Wait, isn't destruction art usually uh yeah. Here it is. Fifteen percent. Probably yeah, another fifteen percent. Okay. Huh. We could skip all of this if we're not going desperation. Go down here. Still would have to grab, grab it that way. Boom, boom. Quite a route you took for uh, for wep uh, for the weapon. I um. Yeah. <laughs> It was honestly, um, we changed it up. It was a little bit more straightforward. I think it was right here because I got lazy and I only play like once a week. Um, I wanted the full force blow, the 4%. Instead of having to schlep it all the way over to uh, this for the full for force blow, it's a 2% difference and uh, I'm kind of lazy. Uh, you need... Um, might tusk? I, I don't think we do. Because um, now I'm kind of looking at it, depending on how our armor... Because I, I like to... I like the... Um, I want the weapon to kind of um, build off of what the armor is already kind of um, establishing. Um, that's why, if we're going to change the armor, I kind of want to hold up. Because I could, I could easily just pay money and just have all this get changed. And... I want to find skills that I can actually build upon, kind of like what um, what Seji's doing uh, with getting like skills and stacking them. So I think I'm gonna wait and see what our armor build starts looking like. Uh, then on the armor 25, 30, strike uh, crit, crit with headpiece of dragon waist. And grim, grim 30 from weapon tree. Remember be like over by five percent damn what were the um what were the boots you're talking about um to go for because i actually haven't been paying attention much to the boots boots are always something that i, I felt like it was really Sounds underwhelming like god damn it any boots with 100 percent kimono uh path points oh really Uh, so resurrection. I mean, that's pretty cool. I did like Hawkeye. What's core boost? No. Hmm. That's what we have right now. Yeah, we'll look at it more. Cool. All right. Um, you guys want to do another one? Coordinator, daughter. Hmm. Could uh fire up that quest again. I'm gonna grab some water real quick. Oh. Uh. All right, let's do it. Party eight. I'm a uh, Currently at zero thread. Here's what I'm doing.
I think it's over. Yeah. I mean, it's just... We'll see. Best. That was my signature move. Oh, this is gonna suck. Physics. I was about to lose it. I had to use it. He's gonna be staggered for a little bit. It's all good. Damn. 
All right. Good shit. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, so we're gonna have the, the parts for this chest piece pretty soon. Let's see what we got. Alright, so not quite. Uh, we got one piece of fur. All good. Hmm, I just realized. This has a human path. Hmm. I'll just be extra defense. That's kind of cool. I'll probably do that, but I want to wait until we uh, make our other piece. All right. Um, I could do one more, and then I gotta call it a night. I do have to get some exercise, oh even though I'm falling asleep right now. <laughs> I'm um, just using up all this kind of shitty food that I don't need right now. On stream workout? <laughs> uh, I suppose maybe one day we can do that. It's nice because I just moved into this new place and I have a, um, a home gym uh, here lying. And it's, uh, it's, it's really nice. Oh shit, I need to go get some threads real quick. Um, it's so convenient. Because, like, the place I used to work out, it was kind of like a 24-hour fitness, but I uh, just the freedom of being able to kind of work out and do whatever you want. So, like, being around people, having to wait for shit. If I'm waiting for, if I'm waiting for people in line uh, at my new gym, it's my wife, and uh, she, she's going to take, like, five minutes and she'll be done. Also, the people that work out late at night, uh, they're not bad people, but some of them are uh, a little uh, eccentric, I would say. I got my old gym. There was a guy uh, that would be there only like late, oh shit, only late hours of the night. Would do this. It was like clockwork. Would smoke two cigarettes outside the gym, and then proceed to do. Uh, I knew that. Was proceed to do sprints. Oh god. Um, for like an hour after that, and I had like a weird sense of like admiration for that guy. Cause I'm like, you know what you're doing, like, is making things more difficult for you, but you do it anyway. And yeah, he, he would like run his ass off. So, oh god. Oh, I whiffed. I hate whiffing. The worst is when they're not moving, and I can't blame it on them being, like, all over the place. Oh, I guess my I got out of range.
Um, sir, you left your shoulder pads. Are you gonna pick those up? Uh, I like how that yes. I gotcha. I'm helping. I did the thing. Now I'm gonna do this thing. Wait, did that miss? I didn't see numbers come out. I was right fucking there. Uh, 1036? Okay. It, it, it came out. I, I, I'm super tired. <laughs> I probably missed it then. I felt like that would be, like, damn near impossible, but I've seen worse. You look better with glass with glasses, though? Really? I, uh, I usually go contacts. I had a big work meeting uh, this morning, so I, uh, I had to get all, all spiffy for it, and I just kind of haven't really... <laughs> Um, put my glasses back on. I prefer glasses, that's why, like, 90% of the time you see me. Um, I, I'm gonna be wearing those. Yeah, contacts kind of bother my eyes. I, I have really bad allergies, too, so. Yeah, but I've been up since, like, 6 this morning. Sonic. I'm just gonna sit here. Oh, is that gonna hit me? Alright. You need to calm down. Oh, no. I'm just gonna go over here. It's fine. It's up, oh, up. Oh, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not disappointed. It keeps throwing me off because I'm used to either uh, the Death Stalker doing like the the jump and kind of slam move, um, but this guy doesn't play like that. He has this weird like. It, it doesn't make any sense, honestly. It's it's like from a physics perspective, just fucking impossible. To spin around midair like that, but it's cool. It's it's anime. God, everything's still exploding. I'm not gonna be that guy that all of a sudden, like everything else in this game, I'm like, I believe that, but I didn't believe the part where the the wolf uh, that has full command over ice and fire uh, did the little. The little turtle spin in midair. That's where I had to, where I had to say enough. I'm done. All right. Well, that was good. Uh, hunts go by a lot faster with you guys. Uh, you guys are kind of, kind of buff. Is this like your uh, your main game that you guys are playing right now, or is there other stuff you're doing? Cause like I'm just trying to get a gauge how much actual time I should put in in order to get the stuff that I want and what's realistic. B Wabs is too strong. Spinning is OP right now. I play a lot of things. This is my Verve Hunters, Hunger and uh, Time Changer build. But you've put in six hundred and thirty. I think I'm under sixty. Um 
I started off playing this like I thought I was gonna be I I because like I'm I'm really into Monster Hunter, um, I thought this was gonna kind of fill that void, but yeah, it just hasn't for me. I don't dislike it, but all, the funniest thing is that it's it's fun, but it just really makes you want to play Monster Hunter. You know, uh, to be honest, dude, I like this better than Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah, I didn't like Monster Hunter Rise. I I, I played a little bit of it. Um, but yeah, was not a fan. It, I, I want like a not next Monster Hunter. Like it needs to be like World, you know. Uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne is just too perfect. Absolutely, a hundred a hundred percent logged. I, now in that game, I'm pretty sure I've logged like two thousand hour uh, hours. I uh, I think I think when Safi Jiva was first released, like those two months or like that month. I'm pretty sure I was playing like nine hours a day, and it's really bad putting that out there. I'm at 4K hours there. Really? Oh, yeah. I miss it. I miss it. It's like it's hard. It's hard to always compare other like hunt games to that, you know, because like it's I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm really not. Contrary to what. It comes off as sometimes I, I don't dislike this game. The fact that I'm still playing it is proof to that. Um, and there are some things that this game I think has that Monster Hunter doesn't, like the staff. I can't really think of many other things it has, um, but yeah. But this is still base Wild Hearts. Uh, wait when they get the tenure and feel uh, for an extra. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, there's obviously some quality of life improvements. There's a little bit of polishing that needs to be done. You know, I'm I'm really not when I when I talk all the stuff that I do about this game, I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying, you know, I, I like it and that's why I'm gonna be a little critical of it sometimes. But uh I guess like next time, which is probably gonna be like next Wednesday, just with uh we're doing a lot of stuff in 14. Um, and I started playing Chain Echoes again um, on stream. So we're, we're knocking that out. Uh, I guess we're going to finish up these armor sets. One good thing is uh, they actually listen to their players. Yeah, that's good. Um, so what um, what's going on with... Uh, the update uh, I, I think it was you lion that told uh, told me because I, I I don't pay attention to the uh, the updates or the, like the patch notes or whatever um, it's harder to get threads now right is that what you were saying line like that's a legitimate thing and then another another person that um, watches us um, it's a fair balance. So like they nerfed to make human path more viable on builds. Oh, okay. So it was about it was balancing between the two, the two paths. Um, Cause I did after you said that I kind of started paying attention, and I really do think I was actually getting threads a lot easier. Um, is it's not like skill specific. I'm sorry. I gotta change this. I'm gonna take it off this armor screen. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the goofiest fucking like sets in this game. They're like they actually make like the monster hunter sets look a little normal. Um, no, but that's uh that's interesting. Just because I I think I did I do notice it, but I don't know if it was skill specific or it's just how threads are acquired in general. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I uh, I haven't really noticed any major differences that have like ruined gameplay um one of our one of our other viewers um my friend chalks he uh he was really really big into bow and he got really pissed off after um there were some bow updates i didn't really play the bow so i can't really say um but yeah i don't think he's playing anymore I still think bow is god tier weapon. So it was actually even better before. That's kind of crazy. Personally, as a bow main, I think uh, he has skill issues. <laughs> yeah, he didn't actually specify, but I guess they just changed the way that it played. Um, and that's why he said that he wasn't playing anymore. Um, I don't know if he picked it back up or if he just took some time off. But yeah, I don't know. 
This game really makes me want to just play Monster Hunter. Uh, sometimes I feel like firing it up and playing, but yeah, it is, f at least at least in PlayStation, uh, it is fucking dead. Which, now with like the stuff that we have, you can pretty much solo anything fairly easy. Um, but yeah. That's just a 1% slash destruction art. Blade to bar. Yeah, so I have a couple of destruction arts. Um, I could throw on there if I want to build on our destruction art from our armor. Wait till you get the 10 to 15% ones. It comes from the deeply volatile wolf. Oh, really? That's amazing. Okay, then I will. No, what happened? What happened to B-Webs? Who done it? Oh, you guys are doing grit dog? Here, I'll go over and finish it up with you. And then I'll, I'll call it a night. If there's one thing I like, it's to beat the shit out of that, uh, that explosive gopher. Uh, where art thou? What the fuck? Why'd I go over here? Oh shit, that thing's pissed. It is I. Hey, this is cool. Usually you get the suck, but I think when you're rescuing somebody... That or that wasn't the full-blown suck. That was only a partial suck. Much different. Oh, shit. God, I fucking hate this thing. Shitty fucking beaver. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, um, ask you about it. B-Webs, did you see that, uh, I finally got around to messing with the, um, hitbox is kind of stupid. Um, messing around with the, uh, the Discord? Uh, I want to thank you again for, uh, starting that for me. Uh, I, the procrastinator in me, um, always meant to do it, but until it was actually somebody started it, I didn't want to... I don't want to feel like I was just like having to start that and just never using it. Um, after we kind of finished up with the, the major move stuff, we were able to get that knocked out. But thanks again, really appreciate it. I'm still kind of learning about this book. One of, one of our other viewers uh, was pretty eager to do under moderation. I was like, yeah, man, how about it? Like, 
I don't fucking know what I'm doing. God damn it. I kept trying to run through uh, this anchor and I kept getting touched by the torch instead. Do it. Oh, uh, we're going up here. No problem with the Discord. I got you. You needed it. Yeah. It. I mean, I. We've been talking about that for a while. But it's always like one of those things. Like, yeah, I'll do that. And then, uh, as you've probably seen. My extremely short attention span uh, kick in. You know, that's kind of how it is. I have a really bad habit of like telling, like, starting a story and then I somehow get off on a tangent and tell like six other stories within that story. My conversation and style is like inception, you know? That's kind of the way it's always been. Actually, that's actually gotten worse, I'd say, with Twitch uh, and streaming, um, just because there's more distractions. What is this? It's like a face one. Send me the link. Uh, sure. I'll grab it real quick. I have it in the about. I think. Nice. So you have to have nine of those orbs every time you want to um, take on one of the uh, the the deeply agile, volatile, hostile kimono. That's kind of crazy. There you go. They actually made it easier to get the orbs. That's good. So it was more difficult. I think I got everything. No other parts? Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for me. Um, I'm going to try and get some cardio in. I don't know why I do this to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, thank you so much, as always, for helping me out. Uh, I do appreciate the, the backpack rides. Um, I promise when it actually comes to Monster Hunter. So with this game, I kind of changed the way I normally play. Just because it's more of like a... It's become more of a social thing. But with Monster Hunter, I do everything 100% by myself. Um, yeah, I'll let you guys know uh, when I'm on. I usually do Wednesdays now. Uh, I don't play uh, a ton. But just with like the other games and stuff we're playing. Plus, my schedule's been kind of kind of crazy. But um, yeah, in Monster Hunter, I, I actually carry my weight. Um, I'm actually getting, getting my shit kicked in by this, this crab over here. All right, let's just go back over here. I sold the whole game before I started helping people. Absolutely. Well, I might, I might jump on like a hunt if I need like parts, uh, if I'm like farming something. You played Hunting Horn. I was always willing to play with others. See, uh, I was so dual blades and sword and shield were my main, but um, with sword and shield, I was like a god healer. Um, you're that one percent, yeah. What the fuck? Who, like, what were they smoking when they came up with hunting horn? The concept, it's it's insane, right? I can tell because in Wild Hearts, I think you're a top tier support. Everyone was uh, horny for fungin horn main. Um, yeah, like, I don't know, like, um, hunting, hunting horn is just one of those, like, it's one of those ones, it's so funny, it's, it's like, 
it's almost just like this massive meme, you know? Like, um, no, but I I love playing with hunting horn users, um, especially when they actually know what they're doing. Like where they could actually be one of the like the highest damage dealers, but also like be giving everybody buffs. I run full offensive disabler and B webs heal stagger jammer. Uh, constantly drop heals. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's it's helpful. Um, in uh, at least in Monster Hunter, I feel like I I really do. Uh, I'm like that. I'm like that person at the bar. Like everyone's out drinking heavily, and I'm like, "Did you guys drink enough water? Here, I brought some more cups of water to the table." That's me, in uh, in Monster Hunter, um, because I think we've all been there. I, especially with Iceborne, it just got so ridiculous with how. Um, how many times you would end up wiping because people just acted like, um, oh, appreciate the follow. I was water boy, absolutely. Uh, because like, I think it, it became really apparent when, um, I think it was like, it, it, it started with like things like Nergagante and stuff, but then like, I think it got really, really bad when like um, there was uh, Extremeth. Extremeth was uh, really, really, really rough. Um, and I prefer to be like uh, either dual blades. I also like uh, bow. Um, I would say like I was kind of evenly split between bow, dual blades, sword and shield. And then sometimes I would also do long sword just because sometimes you want to be a weeb. Um, no, but I got so sick and tired of how many times um, people would just drop the ball, you know? You know, it, like people care like, oh, I got to get that last little bit of DPS in before... Uh, you know the meteor drops and then it's just like all right well we wiped thank you for that longsword supremacy that are you so you're a longsword main i longsword's fun uh especially iceborne longsword iceborne longsword was kind of crazy i also played a lot of hammer too um i pretty much played everything except for um the lance gun lance uh didn't do heavy bow gun uh i did do light bow gun I kind of did like a, I had like a weird, um, like a, not a stagger, uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, it was like a melee oriented uh, light bow gun build where I just do like the, the hit and I would just um, knock the living shit out of, out of monsters. Um, pretty fun, pretty fun to do. Insect Glaive, I was, I only started playing, I think after, um, it was after the Kolv Taroth uh, Insect Glaive came out. The You know, like that meta paralysis one that everyone was using? That's when I picked it up and I was like, all right, Insect Glaive is actually kind of cool. Um, I just didn't like the the maintenance aspect of it, but I probably wasn't playing that efficiently. Um, yeah, didn't like Greatsword. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm not big on slower weapons. Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, the paralysis insect glaive was insane. I mean, it got me to actually pick up insect glaive. Uh, Safi fire um, was nice too. I'm trying to remember. Uh, what was the Safi fire? I had every single like so all the all the weapons that I used. I had every Safi Jiva, and that's that. I think Safi Jiva was like peak. Um, cave dweller status for me in Monster Hunter, because I mean the weapons were so fucking good. Um, I I think my favorite was uh, I don't know. I actually liked a lot of stuff. I did a lot of stuff with Blast. I feel like Blast ended up getting best in slot for a lot of stuff. I was running Light Break Edge with Master's Touch on Longsword. Um, God, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember all the skill names and stuff too, and what what does what. Lightbreak Edge is that um, what is Lightbreak Edge? What weapon was that? Uh, it, was it the blast? Uh, the extreme, not the extreme version. The uh, the variant version of what's his face, the slime dinosaur. Yeah, Raging Bracky. That's right. Got it. Got it. Got it. I, 
I've used that weapon uh, so much, and that's why I was like, I know that weapon. Like, it's it's very, very, uh, very, very familiar. Um, I ran Frostcraft. I um, I don't know. Like I said, I ended up kind of ended up being a healer um, in the game, just because between like things like uh, Furious Rajang and stuff, like people just constantly i have to top them off i'm like i'm basically just like running around i'm like i'm like chugging drinks and like you know um it was really cool when um tigrex came out and you basically get uh you know your free meal like and your your whatever mega potion or um like whatever buffs you're having end up like you get like 60 of them like without having to go to your tent but yeah oh god just talking about it makes me want to play the game so bad